Hey guys, uh, welcome to the YouTube channel of TechGodable.net. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to install Android applications on your PC or laptop. Uh, Android has a wide uh, user base and uh, it has 78% of uh, market share when it comes to smartphones. And uh, you may not always have your device around, so and in case you want to run an Android application, uh, this uh, tutorial might come in handy. Uh, we're going to be actually using an application called BlueStacks, which is going to create a virtual OS. Uh, and BlueStacks, uh, what it does best is it has optimized the OS as well to uh, run on uh, PC and laptops, and uh, it has a great user interface, uh, quick access buttons, and all. Uh, we'll look into that. So head uh, to BlueStacks.com and uh, based on your operating system uh, download the installer we've already got ours downloaded here so we'll proceed to the setup open up the installer in file yeah yeah we have it welcome to bluestacks we'll accept the license and uh, here you can select your uh, custom location if you need to but uh, we'll proceed with the default one and uh, I'll brief you on uh, these two uh, later in the tutorial. For now, just hit install. And uh, this is probably going to take long, so we'll skip uh, the boring parts of the installation and be back when the app is actually up and running. Uh, we are almost in the final phase of the installation. Uh, as you can see, we have the desktop icons already created. So uh, the app should be up and running any moment now. So we'll wait for it. And you have like almost all the famous Android applications that you can find on the Play Store here because you actually have a Play Store. Uh, you can even install third party applications. We'll uh, uh, be back with a tutorial for that. And uh, you can even use WhatsApp. That's cool, right? Yeah, you need to verify and stuff. But uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, we'll explain to you and illustrate how and exactly it's done. So while we wait for it, uh, please do check out our site. It's techaudible.net. Uh, we come up with awesome stuff often, so uh, be sure to check it out. We have Android, we cover Android, and almost everything. How to guide games, smartphones, top 10s, so you, you actually know what's trending right now. Please do check out our site there. Techaudible.net it is. Make sure to bookmark it. Please do. You still haven't got the site up. So I'll take you through some of the things uh say in our site. We have APK files here. Two zero four. We'll try that out uh today in Blue Stacks. That'd be cool. We'll try two zero four eight today. We'll try and play two zero four eight. Now Blue Stacks is up and running. It's gonna be downloading uh, basic stuff, uh since it's the first boot uh we'll have a few stuffs to download, so We'll give uh, BlueStacks that time. It's downloading game data, but not exactly game data. It's going to download, say, a few basic applications that's already going to come pre installed uh, when you open up uh, BlueStacks. So we'll wait for that to finish. And uh, now the app seems to be initializing. And we'll also probably ha be having a uh, first upgrade or uh, update check, uh, the first boot. We'll guide you through that as well. There you go. We have uh, BlueStacks up and running. It's just loading channels. These are the Apex. The user interface is pretty simple. You can find famous apps here, for example, Pinterest, YouTube. These are all, I mean, everything that you can find in the Play Store. You can find it here. We'll show you around. We have a search here. We'll let you search for the apps. We'll look for apps that's already pre-installed here. We have a browser as of now, but uh, after the update you'll have stuff going on here yeah it's gonna update now you might have a few basic apps in there so we'll give time to update okay it's gonna take a few minutes so we'll be back when the update is done uh, the update is done and we're back up we'll try for our apps now nothing in there okay well uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna look for uh, 2048 so it's Play Store for 2048. For that, I already told you, we're going to have to uh, link our Gmail account. So we'll do that quickly and uh, we'll be uh, back when it's done. Uh, okay, we're going to sign in there. Oops. 
Let's keep the try again. Existing. Now I'm gonna hide it just so that you don't see my credentials. I will sign in. This is gonna be pretty fast. Uh, not now. That's not my main account, so you can actually follow me on Google Plus. I'll keep you posted on that and uh, enable app sync. Just hit on continue. You'll have to sign in again. We'll wait for it. Yeah, there. Just uh, giving you password and uh, we're good to go. We're actually gonna, you know, be up and running and we're gonna play 204 right in a moment. Logging in, it says. Okay, done. Let's go. Now we're gonna be in a Play Store. And uh, we're gonna search for 2048. And we'll install 2048. We'll try it out. Exit. Whole interface is gonna be um, something like what you have in your mobile phones. Uh, We've got the application installed. We'll open it up and uh, we'll show a quick uh, gameplay as well so that you know how well Bluestacks performs. We'll open the app. And uh, for some uh, games and applications, uh, since you don't have touch input, you'll actually be having uh, you know, manual uh, key uh, inputs available. Something seems to be wrong here. It actually is working, but. Uh, There you have the game actually. The two tiles it's been installed. You see uh you can swipe here to understand. You know in the game. Uh pretty simple, right? And the app interface is smooth, settings, even sound would work. So back. You can actually see sounds working. So you know how to just you know play the game. I'll leave you to that. Uh, we'll close the application now. Leave game. This is gonna bring us back to the whole interface. Yeah, the whole app store here. So install anything you want, and uh, I'll show you around. Uh, We'll show you um, what's in there. Bluestacks default. You see here, we already have Facebook. After the update, we have Facebook and uh, Twitter installed. And you can now install any number of apps, and uh, the performance is based on your uh, hardware specs, and uh, it should run fine on actually any PC. And you even have uh, manual controls here for back, home, and uh, recently running applications. Swipe it just like you do in it on Android. Swipe it, and uh, yeah, you can share all uh, everything basically and it's pretty uh you know straightforward to close it there done so have fun mess around and if you have any issues of any sort uh, please do ask us in the comment section below and we'll be glad to revert with a solution thank you